Now, welcome to Encourage and Word of Brief, daily word of encouragement from the Bible. My name's Dave. I'm so excited that you've joined us today. I appreciate it. Psalm 119, verse 27 is a prayer, and it says, Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. It's amazing to me how many times even Christian people will say to me, you know, I read the Bible and I get nothing out of it. Uh, they read it, but they don't see it. Uh, and that's a problem. Helen Keller once said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. You know, understanding the scriptures starts with a commitment to obey the scriptures. Uh, why would God reveal things to you if you have not committed to believe them or to do them? Uh, this is not a matter of show it to me and then I'll decide whether or not I want to believe it or do it. Uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 29, uh, the God says, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things which are revealed and disclosed belong to us and to our children forever, so that we may do all the words of this law. God reveals them to us so that we can do them. In Matthew chapter 11, Jesus said, At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you've hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Jesus said that God sometimes hides things from people who think they're so smart, but he reveals them to people who are simple and who accept them by faith. If you're struggling to understand what the Bible uh, says and what the Bible means, let me encourage you to stop and do two things. First of all, make a commitment to do whatever God shows you in the Word to do. When you read something that you believe God is telling you to do it, then do it. Don't question it. Don't argue it. Just commit to doing it. If God says to forgive someone, then do it. Don't explain to God how hurt you were or how hard it's going to be to really forgive them. Just do it. If God says to give something, then just do it. Don't explain to him how you need this and that. Just do what you believe God is telling you to do. And then the second thing uh, that you need to do is you need to pray that God will reveal his truth to you. It's a lot easier for you to understand the truth when you've committed to obeying the truth beforehand. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and hidden things things that you've not known. God says that he wants to reveal his truth to you, but we have to be willing to obey them and to do them. Uh, God wants you to know his truth, but he also wants you to obey that truth. And so commit to doing it and he will reveal uh, it to you, even as you read it. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your truth. I pray, Father, for every person that's struggling to hear the word and to do it. God, that they'll make the commitment to obey and that, God, you'll reveal it to them in its, clear, in its clearest form. Uh, so, Father, I pray for that person who's just struggling to know your word today. Father, make it very real to them. May they know exactly. Your word says that there's coming a time when you will show us the way, that it'll be like a light for our path. And so, Father, I pray that for that person today who's, who's unsure, God, may they see the light and God, may you direct their steps and we give you praise for that. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch God willing. I'll be back on Monday with another word of encouragement. You know, this weekend, if you're in the Killarney area, we certainly invite you to join us. We meet together at uh, 1030 on Sunday mornings, 411 Finlay Street here in Killarney. This Sunday, we have some special guests. They're going to talk to us about the Food Grains Bank, which is a wonderful program with the government in which they match donations of money and grain. Uh, they match it four to one, and then they use it for um, uh, feeding the poor in, in poor places of the world. So if you make a donation of a dollar, the government gives you four dollars and now it's five dollars. If you make a bush, uh, a donation of a, a bushel of grain, they, they match it with four. So it's now five bushels of grain and they match it. And so they, they then use that to, to help feed, uh, those people in poor areas. It's a great, great program. And so we're going to talk a little bit about it. Some people just uh, went away and uh, uh, were on a trip to Africa, and they're going to tell us about what they saw over there and what they what they learned. So we invite you to join us. So, hey, we look forward to seeing you. If you're in the area, uh, stop by Sunday morning, 1030. God bless. Have a great weekend.